So we're over here at Walmart. I'm going to show you a real easy way as to what we do. 642, you're looking at 10 pounds, so 64 cents a pound of actual real chicken quarters. Real meat, real bone, real everything. All right, check this out. So we got chicken livers right there, $1.74, right? And then we also got uh, chicken gizzards and whatnot, $1.94. All right, so we're gonna grab one of each. Check it out, food prices have really gone up. All right, 228 for sauerkraut. Take one of those. $5, 18 eggs. I'll take one of these. Cucumbers, 50 cents. Next up, carrots, $1.96. 6 18 for organic apples, three pound bag. Let's take one. Coming up next, we got sardines at $2.38 for 15 ounces. That's almost a full pound. So we got one, two, got a little piece there, so I'm not even gonna count that. We got three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine total chicken quarters. This is supposed to be a 10 pound bag and we have nine pieces of chicken quarters. I actually had to wait it and it's actually over 10 pounds. So, uh, you know, I'm not impressed only because I've done this in the past and it's it's always like that. I'm just doing it, uh, letting you guys know so that you're familiar with it and you realize that if you're getting more than 10 pounds, you know, don't, don't be surprised. The beauty of this whole thing is you're actually getting chicken. You know exactly what you're putting into your dog. It's not that chicken meal. It's not a chicken byproduct. It's not a beak. It's not a feather. It's not a claw. All right. It's actually a chicken quarter. So, I'm just going to give you guys an example of what it is that I'm doing. Now, the calculations, I'm not going to sit there and do a full-blown weighted calculation to get the exact amount. I'm just going to do eyeball calculations. As you can see, there's nine pieces of chicken quarters. I said there was a total of 11 pounds. So we'll do the math and show it on the screen as to how much this is. Okay, I'm trying to base myself as to what you feed a 100 pound dog on a daily. Um, so this amount, because I get it all the time, you guys hit me up and you're like, okay, what about if I feed two times? Well, if you feed two times, at the end of whatever I prepare, you break it in half and you feed one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If you do it three times, you gotta break it into three different parts. If you feed four times, then four different parts. But just keep in mind, what we're about to set up here is going to be what I normally hit up for a 100 pound dog. Now, as you can see, I did spend $7 on these drumsticks. I know it's pricier than the actual chicken quarters and whatnot, but my dogs really like it. And we decided to go ahead and spur. There's 13 drumsticks. As you can see, net weight is four pounds and 45. So let's call it four and a half. So let's go ahead and throw a drumstick in there. Next thing we got are the chicken livers. I pretty much eyeball it like I've shown you guys in the past. Kind of do that. Throw that in there. So realize organ meat or oily meat, I like to call it sometimes, uh, could be up to uh, substitute organ meat with sardines uh, because of the fact that we don't have kidneys or anything else at my local Walmart. So we got our can opener. We have a Ziploc bag, all right. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you rinse it off. If you could buy it without tomato sauce, that would be even better. Again, we're just gonna go ahead and drop a piece in there. All right, remember we bought 18 eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and give them two eggs. I go ahead and make sure that they're broken up in there. The dog will get to it and destroy it and also eat, eat the shells. With uh, 18 eggs, you know that you, you're covered for nine days. So for a whole week, you're covered. Chicken gizzards. Remember, we bought it for $1.94. Go ahead, throw one or two up in there. Carrot. Remember, we bought them. Do this with an entire... It doesn't have to be entire. It could be even half a carrot, to be honest with you. My dogs don't like carrots. 
Uh, sometimes what I do do to the ones that don't like it for the most part, I will add a little sour cream up in there. And they will definitely lick up the, the carrot inside of the... They'll, they'll eat the sour cream so the carrots are there. And you know, that's that's the way I get around it. But um, there you go. You get some soluble fiber. Also, the carrot, when you do it this way and you grate it, it actually compacts uh, the bowels. So if there's any parasites there, it actually helps you dewarm your dog. Cucumbers, remember, we bought them. Just making sure my dogs are getting fiber. Keep in mind, they are carnivorous, but they will eat all the stomach contents on the animals they get, whether it's a rodent or whatever. And therefore, just want to make sure they got something in there. And you know that my number one probiotic to go to is sauerkraut. All right, I try to get two spoonfuls. That was a nice little good chunk, so that's good enough right there. Now, I've had several of you tell me that your dogs don't like the sauerkraut. If they don't, you could always substitute it with sour cream or even cottage cheese. Now, I do try to go in there and mix everything as best I can. And the reasoning for that is because, like I said, they're gonna try to not eat carrots or even the cucumber if they don't have to. So I try to just mix it in. And the egg, for whatever reason, does serve a good purpose uh, when it comes to them eating the carrots and the cucumbers. So there you go. Break that eggshell down. It's good calcium form. So I'm gonna have several of you already hitting me up asking weight based. How much how much was that weighing what you did there? Uh, I can tell you this is easily weighing approximately three pounds. Okay, anywhere between two and a half to three pounds. Um, you could definitely if you're gonna feed twice a day Cut this in half, feed that in the morning, feed this in the afternoon. Uh, if you're doing it three times a day, you know, whatever the case may be. Okay, remember I have nine chicken quarters. I threw one in there. I have 18 eggs. I'm giving two a day. Therefore, I got nine days worth. I have 13 drumsticks. So I could definitely throw one or maybe even two in there if I really, really wanted to. I got plenty of carrots. Plenty of cucumbers, plenty of chicken liver, plenty of every and anything else that I that I need is already in there. And, and it's going to be able to suffice for nine days. I know what you're all thinking. What about the apples? Well, look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten apples. You're not going to feed them an apple a day. You're going to feed them maybe a quarter apple a day. So you got more than enough products or ingredients to hold you over for nine days. Come on over here, you grate your apple, just just enough to make it about a quarter's worth. All right, I might've gone over a little bit. That's it. So many of you are probably gonna ask what I do with my leftovers. I pretty much put them in a Ziploc bag. As far as the sardines, they're gonna go into the freezer. Everything else is gonna go into the fridge. Don't forget, I still have another can of sardines and you've already seen the two big pieces I threw in there. I still have two left over and I have another can. So in reality, if I was to give just one piece every single time, I have enough for eight days. Same goes for the chicken hearts and gizzards. We always recommend that you add a supplement. NuVet Plus is that supplement that comes with everything that you're looking for and then some. Also, we have New Joint Plus. We add this along with whatever we're feeding our dogs on a daily basis so that it could have a good balanced meal. And if you do the numbers, it comes out to roughly anywhere between 50 cents to 60 cents a day. So we'll add that to our total. And this way your dog is having a well-balanced meal, well-balanced diet, a lot of these allergies, joint issues, and a lot of these other things that are happening because of these low cost ingredients. As you can see, 90 to 95% of the times, it goes away unless it's obviously genetic because the ingredients that you're actually feeding the dog, you have total control over, not just in quantity, but also in quality, and you're balancing everything out. I don't want to hear that feeding raw to a dog is too expensive. 
after going to PetSmart, I realized there are $50 and $60 bags that are only 20 pounds. And if you have a large breed dog, it's going to go through that within three or four days. And so you cannot even compare. I bought nine days, nine days worth of food for $45. You just can't beat it.